All right, so today we will be discussing the water cycle. So our objective, our objective today is students will be able to label the parts of the water cycle. Some of our vocab is evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and collection. Stop! First we need to discuss, discuss what do we already know about the water cycle. So what are some things you already know? And if you aren't sure, what are some things you think that the water cycle might be about? What do you think it has to do with? Go ahead and take 30 seconds to discuss with the person next to you. All right, so did anybody discuss evaporation? Evaporation is when the sun heats up the water in rivers or lakes or the ocean and turns it into vapor or steam. The water vapor or steam leaves the river, lake, or ocean and goes into the air. What are some examples of evaporation? Have you ever noticed on a hot day if you leave a, a pool full of water when you come back, it will be half gone? Go ahead and discuss with the person next to you any examples you can think of of evaporation. Have you noticed it? So what do you think that happens to that water once it goes into the air? Where does it go? Does it just disappear? Or do we think it goes up into the sky? If so, where could it be? Did anybody say clouds? This is called condensation. Condensation is when water vapor in the air gets cold and changes back into liquid forming clouds. So the water collects in the clouds. And what do you think happens when those clouds get full and too heavy? Go ahead and discuss with your person next to you what do you think happens when the clouds get too heavy? This is called precipitation. Precipitation occurs when so much water has condensed that the air cannot hold it anymore. The clouds get heavy and the wall water falls back to the earth in the form of rain, hail, sleet, or snow. So that is why the rain, that is why rain comes, or hail, or sleet, or snow. And then, once the water has fallen, it starts collecting. This is called collection. Collection is when the water falls back to the earth as precipitation. It may fall back in oceans, lakes, or rivers, or it may end up on the land. When it ends up on the land, it will either soak into the earth or become part of groundwater that plants and animals use to drink, or it may run over the soil and collect into oceans, lakes, or rivers, where the cycle starts all over again. So now let's see if we can label the parts of the water cycle. What do we think is first on the left? 
So when the water goes up from the ocean into the sky, what is that called? When the sun heats up the water. Go ahead and tell the person next to you what you think that's called. Evaporation. So after evaporation, when the water has collected in the sky in the form of clouds, what is that called? What did we call that part? when the water is collecting. Go ahead and tell the person next to you. That is called condensation. When the water collects in the clouds. But then what happens when it gets too heavy? What do we call rain and hail and snow? What did we call that when the water falls back to the earth? Go ahead and tell the person next to you. Precipitation. Precipitation is when the water falls back to the earth. And then once it falls back to the earth, it begins a... Collection. And those are the parts of the water cycle.